six months. This is the period that Elon Musk has estimated for the journey to Mars with Starship. The vehicle is currently being operated by a total of 39 Raptor engines. But you know, six months is very long for anyone, including you and me. And of course, NASA also doesn't like that. Therefore, NASA revealed a new engine that'll use a new energy source. They claim it'll be more powerful, safer, and can get humans to Mars faster than the Starship and Raptor engines. So, what is that engine? How's it better than the SpaceX Raptor engine? Why is NASA so confident with its engines? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Can you guess how long NASA claimed it would take to fly to Mars with their new engine? Well, the answer is 45 days. Sounds crazy, right? So what engine has such formidable capabilities? Back in early 2023, at the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, SciTech Forum and Exposition, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson announced the development of a nuclear thermal rocket project in his presentation. This is really a groundbreaking idea because the aerospace industry has always used engines that burn chemicals like kerosene or liquid methane. In fact, this is not the first time this agency has thought of a nuclear thermal engine. Instead, it appeared in the 1960s with the NERVA engine design. And after successfully landing humans on the moon, this idea gained even more attention. In particular, Werner von Braun, former director of Marshall Space Flight Center and the chief architect of the Saturn V rocket, once proposed creating a rocket using nuclear energy to send humans to a more distant celestial body, Mars. However, due to many concerns about safety as well as government policy and plans at the time, this idea was abandoned and no nuclear thermal rocket has ever been launched into space. Entering this century, as technology has developed, along with the space race getting more fierce, NASA decided to revive that idea. In this attempt, they'll decide to cooperate with the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA, to accelerate this project. This agency will also be responsible for developing the nuclear reactor and engine for nuclear rockets designed by NASA. The engine will be named DRACO, short for Demonstration Rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations. NASA officials seem to have many expectations for this project. Bill Nelson said, With the help of this new technology, astronauts can journey to and from deep space faster than ever, a major capability to prepare for crewed missions to Mars. NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy also added, Draco will be a critical part of evaluating the technologies that will take us deeper into the solar system. So, how does this engine work, and what advantages does it have that makes NASA have such high expectations? In most current engines, fuel and separate fuel tanks will be pumped into the combustion chamber and burned until it explodes. And then their exhaust gases will be released to create thrust. Unlike that principle, a nuclear thermal engine would utilize the extremely high temperatures of a nuclear reactor created by nuclear fission, where uranium atoms would be bombarded and split by free electrons. Large nuclei will be split into smaller nuclei. That process will generate a huge source of energy and extremely high temperatures, which can reach up to 2760 degrees Celsius or 5000 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat will then be used to increase the pressure of the fuel. Specifically, liquid hydrogen will be pumped through the core of the reactor at an extremely high speed. Under the effective temperature, liquid hydrogen will expand and transform into gas with extremely high pressure. This pressure will then be released through the engine's nozzle, generating thrust to help push the rocket forward. Regarding fuel, liquid hydrogen was chosen because it's the lightest element of all the elements discovered to date can produce high efficiency, and is very suitable for the operating principles of nuclear thermal engines. In addition, hydrogen is also an abundant material and easy to find in nature as well as in space, helping NASA expand the operation boundary. Back to that method. Its strength will be its superior performance compared to conventional engines. Although there is no specific data yet, it is expected to be three to five times more powerful. Thanks to that thrust, Nuclear thermal rockets will fly faster, greatly reducing travel time in space. With the Draco engine, NASA claims they can shorten the journey to Mars to 45 days as mentioned above. 
To clarify this superiority, we can compare it with Starship, the current most powerful rocket in the world. At the closest distance of 54.6 million kilometers or 33.9 million miles, Elon Musk claimed that it would take six months for Starship to reach Mars, four times longer than NASA's estimate. This is extremely important because reducing travel time will also solve many difficult problems, including control systems, operating employees, fuel systems, energy, problems related to food, astronauts' physical and mental health, and more. Moreover, using this engine has another advantage. It'll consume less fuel. That's because it'll be based on nuclear fission instead of burning fuel like current engines using chemical fuel mixtures. Therefore, it will not need to carry large amounts of liquid oxygen, the fuel that accounts for a large amount of the total payload in current space vehicles. Currently, information about the specific process of the nuclear rocket project is still quite few. The most recent news was in July when NASA and DARPA decided to pick Lockheed Martin to develop the Draco engine demo that'll serve to demonstrate nuclear propulsion technologies in Earth orbit later this decade. Lockheed Martin is currently collaborating with BMX Technologies, a supplier of nuclear components and fuel to the U.S. This company will provide Draco's reactor and its high-assay, low-enriched uranium fuel. These organizations expect all work to be completed in the next few years to be ready for the first test flight in 2027 and aim to send a crew to Mars around 2030. So, does this project affect SpaceX's Mars colonization plan? Although both projects may create competition on the road to Mars, Elon also seems to appreciate this idea. Back in 2019, he tweeted, Nuclear thermal rocket for fast transit around solar system would be a great area of research for NASA. To date, the vehicle that'll participate in SpaceX's Mars project, Starship, is still in the testing phase. In 2023, they conducted two integrated test flights. Although it has not reached orbit yet, this rocket still shows significant progress. Entering 2024, this rocket project will be further promoted to soon achieve the set goal. Because besides the Mars plan, Starship will also have to be involved in the Artemis lunar mission. SpaceX's goal will be to help Starship reach orbit and then put it in stable operation before participating in official missions. Regarding the schedule, Elon Musk also revealed in October 2023 at the International Astronautical Congress that SpaceX intends to land the uncrewed Starship on Mars around 2027, which means within the next four years. Although their current rocket may be weaker than NASA's nuclear rocket, leading to longer journeys, SpaceX is still working hard to improve its vehicle. Raptor engines are constantly being upgraded to be more powerful. Additionally, their choice of methane also has many advantages compared to nuclear thermal engines. Methane is a clean, environmentally friendly fuel, cheaper and easier to produce, especially on Mars, where raw materials are rich to produce methane. The methane engine will also have a simpler design to help SpaceX easily produce and meet large launch needs in the future. Finally, methane is certainly much safer than nuclear energy. Although powerful, nuclear energy still has many risks, and this has been proven many times in history. This is the reason why this energy source is very strictly controlled in the world. In the coming time, both SpaceX, NASA, and other agencies will be extremely busy with their projects. The task of NASA and its partners will be to prove the reliability of the new engine, especially finding ways to fully control this powerful energy source before applying it. As for SpaceX, they'll need to continue testing and strengthening their rockets to be ready for important missions. Nothing's truly perfect. Each engine will have its own strengths and weaknesses. However, I believe these organizations have considered very carefully before implementing their plans. The important thing is whether they'll persevere in developing and improving those projects. Hopefully, the aforementioned projects will all develop well, and both can even consider cooperating and supporting each other to help humanity advance further on the path to exploring our vast universe. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.